So we're here today with uh, Mr. Mohamed El Gawiz, uh, the chairman of the Saudi Capital Market Authority. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the latest uh, upgrade. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so we've seen over the past year, Saudi Arabia has implemented several changes to the market. Um, what's next? And, and how will MSCI's latest decision impact mar market participants? Well, we were actually very happy with the index inclusion decision today because we believe it's the culmination of a lot of changes and a lot of reform that has happened over the last couple of years. But we also believe that it is by no means the end of them. So we are likely to continue with uh, a few more uh, things on our roster uh, in terms of a development plan. The most notable things that we're working on in the immediate future is a price stabilization set of regulations, which is actually the last piece of the puzzle uh, in order to make sure that the legal and regulatory ecosystem is ready for a listing and an offering of any size, including the size of Saudi Aramco. Uh, the two other uh, major pieces of development we're working on are uh, a, a, a completely new product, uh, which we call exchange-traded products, and these are closed-ended but listed uh, instruments, investment vehicles that are listed in the, in the capital market that, that have the liquidity of being tradable like uh, shares. And then uh, slightly further afield, possibly by the end of this year or the beginning of next year, we're working on uh, updating the investment fund regulations, which includes the regulations for all of uh, offering of all investment funds to make sure they are a, more amenable to asset managers, but B, appropriately protect uh, investors and unit holders. This brings me to my next question. So can we see further changes to the legal infrastructure? Uh, so we, uh, I think we're continuing uh, 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 the path of changes. We've, uh, uh, I've already mentioned uh, 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 under the previous question uh, two points that relate to, uh, uh, that involve certain legal changes. There are, of course, additional ones that we're looking to. We're looking at an update of the market conduct rules, which is not a new set of regulations, but an update of the existing set of regulations, as well as uh, after uh, about 10 years of its initial issuance, uh, the first update of uh, the capital market law, which is the umbrella piece of regulation under which all of the, uh, the regulations that the CMA issues. And the purpose of updating the capital market law is essentially to incorporate a lot of the learnings that the capital market has made in the uh, more than 10 years since its establishment. Mm -hmm. So you, you, I heard you mention earlier that Saudi Arabia spent uh, well, just one year on the watch list. Um, how do you feel about this achievement? Well, we, that's actually one of the things that has uh, made us uh, uh, quite proud and quite satisfied with this, uh, with, with this uh, decision today is that, uh, and this has been announced in multiple occasions by MSCI, most countries when they are admitted, uh, they generally first get admitted to the watch list, which is a consultation phase that most uh, countries spend while index providers consult with uh, the global investment manager and asset manager community. Most countries uh, will spend about three to four years on the watch list. The shortest that any country has spent is two years on the watch list. So with the index inclusion decision today, Saudi Arabia would have spent only one year on MSCI's watch list before an eventual inclusion uh, decision. And this is actually the shortest period that any country has spent on the watch list, which we took as a testament to both the pace and the speed of reforms, as well as a vote of confidence by the global investor community towards the Saudi capital market and the Saudi equity story. Congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Um, so we want to ask about updates. You mentioned before that uh, the, 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 the Saudi Stock Exchange is planning cross listings. The biggest question is when will this happen? Uh, so we uh, we started uh, in the planning phase from earlier this year, possibly even late uh, last year, and the main purpose is around two elements. One is uh, uh, just making sure we have the legal ecosystem in place, and we've been working on developing that legal ecosystem. And second, which is no less important than the first, is to make sure that we have a sufficient number of pilots that are ready to come in, file, uh, in readiness for uh, the set of regulations to be issued. And I think w our understanding is that both 
our colleagues in Tadawal, as well as several investment, uh, 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 investment banks, are working on identifying a few appropriate pilots. Uh, once the pilots have been identified, and the, at least the outline of the regulatory infrastructure is in place, I think we would be ready to start with the first pilot test, which we believe will be either by the end of this year or possibly by the first quarter of, of next year, depending on market context and market environment. So very soon. Inshallah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we're happy to have you. Thank you very Congratulations much. Congratulations once again. Thank you once again.